G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Ant-Man. This is the Shrink and Strike uh, Ant-Man figure. He stands roughly around about 12 inches tall or 30 centimeters. And basically what he sort of reenacts, as you can see from the packaging there, it's where he's a tall figure or he's a giant man. And then he um, busts out and in his process of shrinking down to either normal size or Ant-Man size. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, basically something that's just been brought out to uh, get ready for the Ant-Man and the Wasp Marvel movie coming out here in Australia in July. And we'll have a look at the back first, and then we'll have a look at the figure. So you can see there, the uh, the chest cavity opens up, and the Ant-Man figure jumps out. So release shrink-sized Ant-Man, or quantum ship. So you can see there's a quantum ship. I don't know why he would have a ship in his chest. Maybe that'll be explained in the movie. But uh, you can see there's the instructions there. So you load the the figure or the ship into the chest, you pull the arm, uh, in other words, and not actually pull the arm, you swivel the arm, and then it releases the figure out. And there's also one for the uh, wasp figure as well, and she has uh, sort of blasters and, and wing sounds going on there with hers. But yeah, simple packaging, as you can see, open packaging, uh, you've got the uh, sort of effect of the shrink going on, and then the, uh, the Ant-Man and Wasp symbol, the PIM symbol. And then another shot of there, the hidden compartment. So let's have a look at some of the accessories first. Here is the quantum ship. Uh, nothing really to write home about here. It's just basically a grey piece of plastic with the um, red line across it. Again, more re be revealed hopefully in the movie. Looks like a bug. But uh, nothing to write home about there. And then you've got the little clips in there, or the little holes in which it clips into the chest. And let's have a look at the figure. So here is the Ant-Man figure himself. I really pretty much picked this up because I'm keen to have a, a, a giant man figure to go with my set. So at the moment over there, get that to focus for you. You can see my giant man is the original um, Build-A-Figure giant man. And he's fantastic. But I uh, wanted to go for a bit of a, a Marvel Studios sort of theme with my Avengers. So here is the giant-sized Ant-Man I could get. And we look forward to him basically continuing to go giant in the upcoming movie. But pretty simple. Detailing is quite nice though. You can see the texture there through the plastic. Uh, the helmet is quite glossy. Nice painting in the eyes. I think this is the revised suit, considering um, the original one. So you can actually see there's sort of the ant face in the, uh, the front of the uniform there, the two eyes, sort of the protruding nose, and then you've got the, the antler thing going on there, compared to I think I've got the Marvel Select one up there. That was the original Ant-Man movie. So you can see a little bit different um, in the chest piece, in the costuming. But uh, belt-wise, pretty much the same. Then you've got your detailing around. Articulation-wise, you can basically bend or swivel at the, uh, the hip. There's nothing in the knees, nothing in the feet or the ankle. You can rotate at the wrist and the um, arms do go forward and back. And in particular, this arm, you can see here, as you pull it back, it uh, releases the figure, and that's where we have our Shrink Ant-Man. And so, let's see if I can do this. I've only got one hand holding the camera, so, and you can see, it. there he is, he pops out, and we'll pick him up and have a look. So, here he is, so this is the Shrunken Ant-Man. Not a bad little figure, he's got him in his jump pose, which is quite nice. Uh, a little bit lacking in the detail with the paint, so you can see on the side and on the back he's pretty much just black with his silver helmet and his red on the chest. Probably a little bit of uh, touch-up paint, mold paint. You'd be able to uh, recreate the uh, the giant size Ant-Man to make him movie accurate. So I'll probably get around to that one day. Zoom back in. But uh, anyway, as you can see, as I said, he pops out of the cavity in the chest. Push that back so you can have a look. Just clips in there. And then just as you swivel back, he pops out and then it just pushes it out and he jumps out of the chest. But anyway, uh, if you're a studio, Marvel Studios fan and you're basically collecting your, uh, your Avengers sets, as I said, it's a bit of a shame they don't do the three and three quarter figures anymore. Uh, they went to the two inch figures and then they're pretty much gone just with Marvel Legends now. But um, if you're looking to add a giant man to your Avengers collection, then uh, I highly recommend keeping an hour out for this guy, around about $30 in um, stores around Australia. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. If you uh, hang out, you'll probably see in the background here, we've got a few Han Solo uh, or Solo uh, Star Wars story figures. 
So I'll be doing a review on those as well. But uh, if there's anything else in the room, the gauntlet there, well and worth checking out that bad boy. It's a great, um, great review, that one, if I don't say so myself. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Big shout out to Stu. He's my number one fan and he uh, checks out all the videos every time they go up. So thanks, Stu. Big thumbs up. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for sending through the questions and giving us your feedback. Cheers.